turn the chat thing. Can you hear me okay? Maybe? Yeah, I guess. It looks like you can. Anyway. I'm good. We're on Norway. I want to try and go after the Atlantic Salmon again. It's been a hot minute. In a third. But I'm good. I'm glad the day is over at work. I'm tired. Very tired of children. So we're gonna have a relaxing night of fishing. Today's uh, video that I would try to normally have out at noon, um, it didn't get edited. It got done with the recording stuff, didn't get it edited. So as of right now, it'll probably come out on Friday. We'll see. Like I had it all recorded and then I went to bed last night. And then I woke back up, and I probably should have just gotten up and edited it then, but I was worried that if I had done that, I would have been up, like, the rest of the night. And it's a little too early in my work week for the day job to be doing that kind of thing. Also, <clears throat> if you've been out and about and heard about my first world girl problem with my earrings bothering me, uh, turns out I'm allergic to those earrings. And it's not my fault that my ears were in severe pain. So. We're all good now. But, oh boy, was I not enjoying it for a long time. But I switched to a different set of earrings from, like, a different pack altogether and no problems whatsoever. I can wear my headset just fine. My headset doesn't hurt to wear. My ears don't hurt just existing with the earrings in. But yeah, I was allergic to those. Yay me. I could probably bottom fish here. I would just have to set up one of the rods a little bit different. But it's super early morning in this server. Is 5.09 a.m. <clears throat> I could use spinner. Atlantic salmon is one of the largest species. Put on the spinner of the same size, because spinners sink faster. Spinners sink way faster. Still gonna open up the help sheet just so I have it. Also, since they added the new fish, I have... Oh gosh. Uh, since they added the new fish, I haven't yet... Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a great fight, isn't it? I haven't, I haven't caught any of the new fish. The four little ones, the like the European and the Alpine bullhead and the roof and the dace, I haven't caught any of them yet. But I know that they can only be caught on a 10 or a 9. And it's like 10 is bronze and silver and a 9 is gold and diamonds. Oh, I'm in over my head with this fish. I 
I haven't had to fight a fish like this in a hot minute. Oh my god. Dude. Hi, Otter. Welcome in. Just fighting fish. Don't mind me. But, yeah. Allergic to my earrings. Snapped one of my bracelets on accident. Like, sitting here at my desk and it just snapped. Um. Yeah. And now we have this chunky ass fish on the hook. Watch it just be spiel thin and I didn't even realize it. No, we can't do that. Hey, does anybody know where he's at this week? There's nowhere that there's like oh, a lot of people at. He totally could just be here. That's such an uncomfortable noise to hear. The line like stretching and popping. It would be funny. It would be my luck too. I like when they just lean on it and they don't pull it out, but they just sit there and lean on the weight. Gets them tired. Oh boy. Oh my god. Look at him run. Look at him run. Oh my god. I can't get my husband to make me a <laughs> Are you getting tired of leaning on the weight yet? If it's not, like... Is a boy. Oop. I did. Yeah, I touched- I touched the top more than the bottom. You get my text. Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> not with power buttons being up here. Yes, I do. Any of the cups by the Keurig would be wonderful. Yeah. Thanks. I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he comes in here, brings in a cat. Like, here, you want this? And then tries to put it on top of my PC where the power buttons are. Third. I've gained two whole feet on this fish. That's it. The big setting. Chill. Dreamer. Ridiculous. I do. Ooh, ow. Oh. Can I get anywhere with this fish? Yet. I got like 
six inches with that. Look how slowly I'm making it around with the reel. Oh my gosh. Just crawling. Dude. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have given him... The chunky fish. Like, oh, you're streaming. Let me put this cat on top of your PC and maybe turn off everything. Literally. He honestly probably would just for the fact that that meant that he would get to spend the next two hours with me instead of with me in my office. Which, like, I don't hate the idea of, but... <laughs> Guys, we made it under the triple digits. Not gonna touch. Not gonna move. Not gonna stop reeling. I'm not gonna try and rod nothing. We're not gonna move at all. This fish isn't super far under the water. Any bets on if it'll bolt again? Oh my god, is that Spielfin? Did I hook the legendary? Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. I know you did. Um... Good. Thank you. But I seriously hook legendary. Other salmon. That's not him. That's gotta be like a diamond, right? I mean, it's got the behavior of Spielfin, where it, the first time out, it's pretty surface level, and then the second time out, it goes down. Yeah, get better. You can absolutely join in. I think I have the command on YouTube to get my Apex, if you want to send me a friend request. Um, we're just out on Norway today. Not really doing anything special. I think we accidentally hooked into the legendary and didn't even realize it. So majestic when he jumped. Maybe I don't, or maybe Nightbot's not awake? Let me tab out and check. How about that? Uh, no, I do not have the command in, but I will make one. don't remember. Oh, my Twitch thing, because it'll tell me. It. 
user level everything. Now I can see the again. I had to add the command for Nightbot. Oh, hey, look, my Twitch chat came in, too. <laughs> I forgot that my Twitch chat and my YouTube chat stay connected all the time, no matter what. So, like, if Gunhub goes into my Twitch chat right now and were to mess with the fart command, it would come up and chat here on stream, but, like, not in YouTube. So I guess my, my Apex is on the screen on the stream, but not on the screen in the chat. Bet. Let me get this guy in the boat. I think we, like, actually hooked into the legendary and realized it. Or it's a diamond. Like, it's one or the other. Yeah, that's spiel fit. <laughs> I went and I hooked into the legendary fish on accident. Oh my goodness. Well, now we know where he's at, guys. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> Alright, so, right here. Oh, he must have been down here and I just hooked into him because I casted south. <laughs> oh my gosh. Caught the legendary fish on accident, right? Okay. I know that these two are not you because those were in there beforehand. I'm gonna wait until I hear from those people to see who they are. Gunhub. I just assume it was Gunhub. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I mean, I guess I needed legendary tokens anyway. But I really need them on Golden Ridge because on Golden Ridge I have um, a thousand reputation. On this map I don't have a thousand reputation. <laughs> you can't join. Oh, the map might be full. I forgot about that being a thing. If you happen to notice or if I happen to notice if somebody, something pops up that somebody leaves the reserve then you should be able to get in. And I think I have a setup small enough that I'm not going to be excluding any fish. I need to check the... I have a 2 aught on. Yeah, 2 aught is still silver. I'm not sure if I should be reeling in slow like this or if I should be reeling fast. I don't remember what I used to do for these fish. I feel like I used to cast out super far, let it drop a little bit, then I'd reel in at speed two, but apparently not. Somebody just left the reserve, so you might be able to get in. Oh. <laughs> it just went for it just a little too late.
Hit it. There you go. <clears throat> I'm guaranteed a silver. Hopefully a lot of XP. Gosh, I should have farmed these guys. Oh yeah, that's a good point. If you're on console, you have to change a setting to allow cross-platform play. That is very true. There's one over there. Go after it. You're in? Good. When you look at the map, I'll be one of the yellow player icons instead of a gray one. That's how the game differentiates between people that are your friend and are not your friend. almost done with level 64. Do I have any missions to do? Oh, I have these to do. Can I catch a gold rank asp easily? I go here. I feel like it shouldn't to drive over there. <clears throat> it should be. I don't see you. Maybe you didn't get into this server. With the amount of people here, you'd think the legendary was there. I have a jeep. Tracking. Yonderville. This coffee is delicious. Okay, good. Knocking your sin. That looks like how it's pronounced, but it probably isn't. I don't know, huh? How do you level up? Um, XP. So, catching fish, doing missions. pretty much it doing your challenges so if you hit whatever it is to get to here uh, there's daily challenges and then weekly challenges your daily challenges are gonna be up to about 500 XP your weekly challenges are all going to be a thousand XP I like doing the ones that are not species specific, so it's like, hey, can you catch this many pounds of fish? Can you catch this many fish of at least silver ranking or of at least bronze ranking? Those are the ones that I do a lot of because those are the easiest ones to complete. And then I think... Max level is 200. But each map has its own missions and stuff like that. Um, and each map has like a reputation system. So once you get to 1000 reputation on a map, you can then buy anything in the souvenir shops. 
So you can get the best rod, reel, and all of that in the game that you can buy. And those you have to unlock with reputation, basically. <laughs> but you also have to get your diamond, gold, and legendary tokens to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to try to do the last couple of missions that I do have. So this one wants me to get a gold rank asp at this location specifically. So I'm going to pull up the handbook. I don't know if I have. I've apparently caught a gold asp at some point. Um, They will take a minnow. Yes. It'll be this. And. Hook chart asp. I want a gold, so ideally on a two, but since I have a three with a red worm, I'll just put on a minnow and we should be good. And should be. Rod number three. We'll just cast it out there. Hope for the best. It'll get us at least a silver. You're level 16. Not bad. I was probably like level 25 before I got my first diamond. And I can tell you exactly what my first diamond was. My first diamond was a largemouth bass on Golden Ridge Reserve while I was trying to catch Goldstein. Never ended up getting Goldstein that week, but... And like here on Norway, I've only caught two diamonds and it's the Arctic Char and the Grayling. And like the Arctic Char, I probably have two or three diamonds of. The Grayling, I only have one. I hope that this is an asp, but not a salmon. I guess there's no salmon in this water, so it had better be an asp. Since it's a mission fish, it'll kind of be spawned for me. Kind of. Not necessarily. So, at six pounds. What size was my gold I want? My gold was 13. So we've got to get pretty heavy. Hey, we leveled up! Because I completed... Oh, the 99 pound one because I caught <laughs> the legendary. That's why we leveled up already. So that's why... For the challenges, for the weekly one, I recommend doing the weight because we already completed that. We already completed the daily weight as well just by catching the legendary. See? <coughs> and I heard that. I heard that they were easy to catch. Oops. Alright, well I found him. I caught a diamond eyed. Six pounder. I wanna mark it.
15, that means... So you played the game when it first came out. Whereas I didn't start playing the game until after they redid the leveling system and reset everybody. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't start until August last year after they reset all the levels of everybody. Made a bunch of people mad. That was a big ass. Else is there? Northern Pike roof approach. My coworkers just got back yesterday from their vacation like or she was on a cruise in the Gulf of Mexico it's a size one from here eh, maybe not the weight looks about the same on the rod Another six pounder. Hmm. We still haven't moved my desk upstairs. So I know we had talked about how. At some point soon, I was going to have my desk moved back upstairs. It won't happen till this summer, I promise. Simply because I will not have the time. Definitely won't have the energy to do. Until I'm done with my day job. School year. And I have 28 days left with the students. That's it. And I can't wait for it to be over. Because we're in that really, really kind of shitty long stretch. All level 16. Um, Arctic Char and Grayling. And if you need Arctic Char, you're going to go... To this lake down here. Arctic Char. By the lookout tower. Right down here. That's where you need to be. I've caught probably four diamond Arctic Char out of that lake. Hey, we got a bigger one this time. And then if you want Grayling. You're going to be in these two ponds here. They call them the kidney ponds because they look like a pair of kidneys. Um, I'd say the best way to get there is to fast travel to the troll lore point of interest and then run over to this one. They're going to be by like the little creek heads within the lake. That's where uh, Gunhub pulled out a diamond grayling right in front of my face. Like nearly hit me in the face with it on my own boat. So you can definitely get them there. Gun hub. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Over there, lol. Uh huh. Funny. The history of people ripping better fish out than me on my own boats continues with Haggy. He pulled out like a seven point something pound um, purple nose labeo. Literally on my boat while we were fishing together the other day. So it continues. If you fish with me on my boat, you will get better fish than me. I don't let many people fish on my boats. <laughs> Basically, you have to be a moderator 
the fish on my boat. Because you guys run the stream for me anyway, so you might as well be allowed to get better fish than me. But the Arctic Char don't need too heavy of a setup because they really only get up to about 25 pounds. I'd say at level 16, you've got a setup that can handle majority of them. Um, I recommend using a size 5 spinner. About all you need. Just cast out and then constant reel back towards yourself at speed 2 or speed 3. If you want to guarantee that you're going to get silvers, you'll get a size 3. Um, but I just use a size 5 that catches me bronze, silver, gold, and diamonds. So, size 5 spinner will basically guarantee that you're not going to get the juvenile sized ones. That's the only category that, that cuts you out of. As for the asp, I would have to use a size 2 hook to guarantee that I would get a gold. Otherwise, I'm good with using a size 4, a 3, 4, or a 5 to guarantee silver. But it, it's mostly for entertainment purposes. Because if I stick a hook on here and I can only count or catch a gold... Nobody's going to want to sit here and just listen to me ramble the whole time while I'm waiting for a gold to spawn in and bite. I know I wouldn't want to watch it. what's in the middle of the lake if anything at all I just spilled coffee on my it's fine it's great point for the day when I stream classic on the map oh my god So anyway, uh, when we come back on Monday on Twitch, we will be streaming White Rhyme Ridge. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious about that, though. Like, I, I do have that written in that we are going to be um, on White Rhyme Ridge hunting. And on Wednesday, we're going to be on Tay on Call of the Wild. I wouldn't say that it's going to be a fallow grind. It's more so going to be a light loadout grind, or a light loadout hunt. Because we're going to be using two handguns and one of the really light rifles. 200 plus doll sheep. Alright. Get one. I think I already have one. Catch up. What I need to get is a really nice uh, snowshoe or yeah that's pretty much the only thing that I don't have off that map that's like really nice because I have like a 124 I think bison I have like a 202 doll sheep I have a 15.5 blue arctic fox I have a 31 polar bear, or 30.1 polar bear. I have a 30 point something or a 31. I have a big polar bear. I have a 200 plus moose. I have a two, I think it's a 220 plus moose, but I could be wrong. You know what? Let's just pull up my hunter statistics. We'll figure it out, huh? Here's my display capture for you guys. We can just look right here. Uh, achievements? Animals? Statistics. Personal bests. 
know there's a way for me to get this tool. Come on. Load! It used to load just fine. Oh goodness. Hold on. All time. I'll put it back, I promise. Just trying to get it to load. This looks like a good sized fish. What do we got? Gold? Ah, uh, Say nothing bit for the longest time. Alright. I'm still trying to get this thing to load. I got a 15.2 Puma the other day, though. And then a 15.6 wolf. Like, that was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Aha! I got it to load. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, I have a 124 bison. I have a 203 doll sheep. I have a 220 moose. I have a 30.1 polar bear. I have a 112 sitka deer. Forty one oh two snow goose and I have an eighteen oh one snow bear. So like this is the one that I want to improve the most. And if you give me just a second, I'm gonna go grab my Um it's a sheet that's related to this. Just give me a second. You guys watch for fish. I am back. So, the reason I went to go get this sheet is I have a I have a I have a sheet with all of the score requirements for the super rare gallery. That way basically I can keep track of what is and isn't a good animal. So, if we go through all the animals that are on White Rhyme Ridge, the Arctic Fox requires a 15. I have a 15.5 and it's a blue. The Bison. They want a 115. I have a 124. Doll Sheep. They want a 195. I have a 203. The Moose. 200 plus. I have a 220 plus. Polar Bear. They want... 30 plus. I have a 30 plus. Get down here. Snow Goose. You would need a 4250. And I have a 4102, which is not as high as it could be, but it's not bad. And then the Snowshoe Hair, they want a 1750. And I guess I have an 1801, which is really good. But the 1801 is not in my lodge. Because I didn't know that it was good. Uh, 
Oh, that's wild boar, not feral pig. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I have a 1,000 plus one. No. It is... Oh, and the sick kid here, they want 100 plus. Forgot about them. This guy. Oh, God. Strike too late. That's fine. I was trying to find the best way out of the web page into the game. I highly recommend, like, printing out or, like, handwriting a sheet with the, like, super rare gallery requirements. Because that'll give you a good idea of what is considered a good scoring animal in the Hunter Classic. So I have, I have two copies of the sheet. I have one that stays at my desk and I have one that travels with me. And they're, like, kind of organized. Because on the one side, it's like the deer species, and then the sheep, and then the bears, and then it goes into the, the like, boar, hog, and then it gets your canid, so you have your, you know, wolf, coyote, fox, and then your feline, so your puma, lynx, bobcat, and then it goes into the birds, and it's like turkey, grouse, goose, pheasant, waterfowl, and then ptarmigans, and then the last little bit is the rabbits. So it's it's not alphabetical, and it's not necessarily biggest to smallest, but it's kind of biggest to smallest because it basically goes from water buffalo down to snowshoe hare. What am I looking at? Hold my hand. You brought me chocolate. I see it. Hit it. There you go. Hey, yeah, that's a good weight. Not fantastic, but it's not bad. Probably like an eight pound fish. Let's see. Yeah, seven and a half. Do I have anything else that would catch us faster? Swim bait. Um. I might. This counts as swim bait. It's a size one. So it's guaranteed to get me a gold, but I basically have to nail the one fish in here that's going to complete the mission. We'll see. Also, isn't this technically a diamond spawn location for Asp? Or am I wrong? I mean, it was kind of nice not having anything else bite. But with this, the pike could technically bite. And they suck. They're an annoying fight. Bad. Just about got it out there to the max distance I could cast. See, and I don't know enough either. <clears throat> but not 
this weekend, not the 20th. Next weekend, the 27th. The Alpine Ibex Classic Competition closes on Saturday. So you still have a week and three days to get into the Ibex Competition or better your position in the Ibex Competition. On the 28th, we will announce the May competition in the video. Then on Wednesday the 1st, there will be a hotspot video for that animal. Which, you're going to have a selection of map. A decent selection of map. I think it'll be a decent selection of maps to you. I mean, it's going to be more than one. See, this is why I don't like using this kind of stuff. Get a 16 4 Arctic Fox. Woo! Oh, there's a fish. It looks like an asp. If it is, it's basically guaranteed to be a gold. 125.4. That's a big bison. 201 doll sheep. 230. Damn. Big moose. 30.3. Big polar bear. 107. Sitka. 4202. Snow goose. And an 1808 snowy hair. Yeah. Give me my gold fish. There we go. That's a big boy. Bigger than my best so far. Alright, that completes something. Gives me credits, gives me XP, gives me reputation. Heck yeah, it does. Alright. Those are night ones. Nighttime, nighttime, daytime, day. Try this one up. At least this one's got a fast travel location. A roach. Gold rank roach. What are these? Bloodworm. Let me check the help sheet. Um, size 6 guarantees a gold. Choose the light setup. Use my ultra set up and see what we get. This says that's a two pound fish for a gold, which is good because this is like a six pound max setup. <laughs> I have the duck, which means it's gonna drift quite a bit. But this is one of those, um, this is a match rod. Very, very light setup. Which, using this light setup gets me a lot more um, XP, I think, for the fish. You get more... The fish will score higher if you use a light setup. For, like, a longer fight, basically. I see red fins. 
But this could just be a silver. Hey, we got the gold already. <laughs> Good stuff. 200 XP right there. 200 credits right there. 15 reputation. Two of them are at nighttime. This one's a daytime one. It's at this next little... It says I need a chub, but it also says that chub don't show up here. So I'm hoping it'll spawn me one. Cheese. I need a gold. I just start auto running. Huh? Why are we running in slow motion? Don't die. <laughs> Um, gold is a five, so we can work with a six. Um, and cheat. A six and cheese. And I could use the super light setup still. Could. Don't have to, but... I really hope that it'll spawn one up here. At least for the most part in this game, you can go up and down just about any slope. And don't get me wrong, driving is faster, but when you're driving through all the trees and shrubs and stumps and logs and stuff, sometimes on foot is just better. Although I do like the geeps. I do like the geeps. And yes, I say geep and not jeep because they're not name brand jeeps. It's like in Call of the Wild when we got the 10 millimeter, people call it the, the gawk instead of the glock. Because it's pretty much a glock minus licensing. And here we have the geep. Allergies are... Do you think they'll give us a different kind of vehicle? Or do you think that we'll only have the geeps? Like, they gave us two different boats for two different purposes. Do you think that they'll give us a second, like, land vehicle? Ooh, what if... Hear me out. What if the angler gives us, like, climbing gear? Like they did in Classic? Like, what if the, the angler gave us climbing gear to climb into mountains for the, like, really high up little ponds and stuff for fishing? Don't know, don't care. I feel that in my soul. How I've been at work this past week. Don't know, don't care. Like I told, I told my teacher today, I do not want to work with this student. I'm tired of their shit right now. They have been mentally exhausting me every day. I do not have the energy for them. I'll deal with literally anybody else though. Mm -hmm. Cheese. 
just check it out. We'll just see what happens. Because supposedly, cheese is like their favorite thing ever. And I guess I could have bumped it to a six. Do I even have a six with me? Oh gosh, there's already a fish. We'll just wait. Okay. Oh boy. It's heavy for this rod, that's for sure. Which is a good sign, because if it's heavy for this rod, that means we could totally already be done with the mission. What do we have? A silver. That's alright. I'm gonna bump the hook size. I do have a six. Definitely wind pushing it. What do we have left for our challenges, I'm sure? These guys at least nibble, so I'll have a heads up. Dailies are all done. Weeklies. I need... Quite a few more fish. 39? No, I need 29 more fish here. Then here. Whoop. Fish is ready. I need 29 more fish for one, and then I need like 24 more fish for the other. hither a little bigger maybe maybe not do I have a five if I wanted a five I do have a five throw a one on there so I can put a five on here with some cheese. Yeah. Alrighty. Got 745 right in there. Wonder what I have left. Because I don't think it would just be these three missions to get me all the way done. It might be. I'd have to probably look my way through a walkthrough. I already did the scavenger hunt and the cash challenge. I did this all, all the way through, even the last one. What do I got left right now? Diamond what? Oh, he got a diamond brown trout. I bet you he's at that same lake still. There is, because I know you can get brown trout here as well. There's a lot of people right here. What are you guys all fishing?
try to do a baseball game. But he just came in to tell me. Here, cast out. Goes. I just a alarm and let it drift to wherever. I don't know if it will go anywhere. Eh, I guess it's good. Oh look, a fish. I feel like I'm gonna be in for a fight of my life with this. There was nothing, huh? Oh, I thought he was going to fight. There you go. Crush my hopes and dreams? Yes, you are. That poor dog, so concerned. Big fish. Woo. Yeah, that's that's a big fish. That's about the max that the rod can handle. Fifty degrees on the nose. Two hundred XP. Two hundred credits. More mutation. Challenges. Now I only have. Should I be checking my S travel location or or there that I can see or here talk to him. This guy is my favorite shopkeeper, by the way. He's the best. Hi, I, I saw you fishing earlier. Jämbebra. Open for business. Ooh, I like that. I like that yellow. Very like bumblebee transformers. I don't understand why the things don't go away now. See, it looks like I just need some more reputation and old things. Okay. So this location doesn't have anything. Let's try this location. I think this is the place that at least has the sheriff lady? Warden lady? What I want? Oh, good god. I have all of these to sign up for. I missed an entire chunk. Get them all. 
I missed an entire chunk. So I'm guessing... Where's my lady at? Oh, she's up here. I missed an entire chunk. Watch it. Be careful not to turn your back on rocks around you. If it gets too dark, well, you can take her anyway. Okay, so I literally forgot all of the other ones. Oh my gosh. Night time. Night time. Day time. Let's see where this daytime location is. Crack. <clears throat> I'm so upset. Where do I get? Me a Jeep. The fun color Jeep. I don't think I want to cross this water. But I'm pretty sure if I do, I end up alongside of the lake up there. I would also like a little mini map, like a compass mini map, like they have in a lot of other games. <laughs> I feel like that would make my life easier. It might be easier for me to travel right up alongside the water. Okay, that's a helpful camera angle for sure. Now I have a silent Jeep. <clears throat> Um, when you say Western Elk, you mean like the Rocky Mountains area, right? I did not put in for a Rocky Mountain. I did not put in for any Western state tags. Mostly because if I, I mean, like, it's not necessarily likely, but like, if I had drawn both, I wouldn't want to pick. But, you know. The one out west this year just wasn't the right year to be doing it anyway. With everything else going on that would have been related to that. Oh, no. That's just a weird looking log. Because it, the, the hunt that I want to do out west for elk and or mule deer has some other, like, contingencies, I think, or that I want. It's got other, like, requirements stuff that's related to it, but it's not, like, tag-related. It's, uh, personal-related, so. Yeah. This would not have been a good year to do it. Oh, 
called? Oh, is it? This is a good map. People are ripping diamonds out left and right. I got into a good server. True. Yeah. Yep. And not only that, so one of the people who I would go and see for that kind of a hunt, um, I also want to be able to return the favor. So I would be paying for them to get transported out here to do Midwest Whitetail as like a exchange of hunting favors, basically. Like, hey, you tell me where to go out there and I'll put you on private land out here, kind of thing. We're running. We're still running. But dinner tonight at my house is going to be a Cajun chicken pasta with the Cajun pork kielbasa and some basically shredded up rotisserie chicken. Catch a bronze rank brown trout. Well, the brown trout like dough spinners. And if I check my handy dandy little chart for what size hook I need for a bronze, we're looking at a five. Well, here's the thing. I like a spinner and a two or a four. We'll use the four. Yeah. <clears throat> we can probably crank but for these guys. Wait for five years then for them to draw an Iowa deer. Can you only Oh goodness. Can you only put in once every five years? This isn't like an Atlantic salmon or anything. It shouldn't be. A char. I hooked into a freaking char. Bird fish. I love them. Over here, just that hard to get one. Oh, we'll try from this little dock. I'm sure the brown trout are gonna be by the like opening little stream river situation that comes off of here. Go across this. See what we get. See, the reason that I think that I heard that it's so hard to draw Iowa tags. So, there's a guy who does hunting content. And mostly it's archery, and he does like archery professional shooting for like tournaments and stuff. Uh, Chris B is his name. He's from Iowa, does a lot of Iowa content, but he also does a lot of out-of-state content. Like, he got this massive Kansas buck. The video did, like, really well, and then literally the next year, it was, like, impossible to get an out-of-state tag for Kansas. Hey, it's a bronze. That's all we needed. All right. 
another one to do. Bronze rank asp. Over asp. Northern pike. Let's see what we got, bro. Fast travel. There we go. Captain Nemo. We'll grab it. Oop. It's fine. Off the cliff. See, I don't think that there's any such thing as falling too far if you're in a jeep. I think they kind of just let you go. But there is such a thing as entering deep water. You can yeet pretty far with a jeep. You just can't go into water. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> saved it. Just barely saved it, but we saved it. Okay, so I need an app. Bronze. Let's do a minnow. Let's do it on like size six. Huh? I'm gonna get another diamond. I don't know. There's a fish. I think that's an Atlantic salmon. We'll see. I think it's a salmon. Because I think the salmon nibble. Yeah, I know what you mean. Not the fish I want or need. <clears throat> I could use a spoon. Spinner. Worm. Oh, 
Hi, Kyla. See, I'm doing location-based stuff. I'm trying to get my reputation up, and I realized that I missed um, this entire outpost's collection of stuff to do. Because I was down to, like, three left. <coughs> and, like, this was not hard by any means. I just don't want to be catching all of the... I don't want to be catching all the salmon. That's the issue. Like, this would... I have a bunch of stuff on here because of what I was doing on... Africa, so my loadout's all messed up right now. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. I've long left anyway. I gotta make dinner here. I want to be able to focus on the lure in, like, with this style of fishing. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, bottom fishing, they let you focus on the tip of the rod. Bobber fishing, they let you focus on the actual bobber. Like, I'd like to be able to focus on where my lure's at. If it's on the top of the water, it would be much appreciated. If it's not on the top of the water, at least let me focus on, I don't know, the tip of the rod. It would still have a similar effect. Something, man. I didn't even cast, but alright. There's a fish down in there. Kyla, I know that you heard about my uh, first world girl problems with my earrings bothering me with my headsets and stuff. Turns out it I was allergic to the earrings, so that's why it was bothering me so much. Yeah. Got through all that problem. This fish keeps coming over here by the rocks. Yeah. Took them out last night because they were driving me nuts as I was trying to sleep and immediately relieved. And then this morning I put in a different pair of earrings from like a different set. Completely fine. Because I thought maybe it was just that I was sleeping on them and it was bothering my ears. No, I was like actively allergic to them. Because the bottoms of my ears were like swollen and red. And very upset. <laughs> I don't have any stuff. What size hook do I have on here? Six. Can I bump that to a size? I could bump it to a three. It'll help a little bit. I mean, I need a bronze. A three is going to get me a silver. Hoping that I can one more challenge. But yeah, we were sitting at like, what, 740? Reputation, and I'm like, how do I only have two more challenge mission things left in my journal? Like, what's going on here? Did I miss some? Do I need to go back around? Oh, yeah. It's pretty common to be allergic to a metal, and it's usually not noticed by most people unless they have, like, their ears, nose, something like that pierced. 
specifically the ears is the easiest because earrings are easily produced with cheaper metals whereas other piercings are usually not produced with cheaper metals because they need to be thicker so like if you're gonna look at like what gauge technically you're using in an earring versus what gauge you'd be using in say an eyebrow piercing like your earring pierce it might be gauged with like a 24 or a 22 whereas the gauge of the wire used or the gauge of the needle used to pierce like your eyebrow is going to be like a 10 much larger so they usually use better metals for the ones that are larger but earrings can be so easily made so cheap. A lot of people are allergic to nickel plating um, because they'll put the nickel plating over something like copper. <clears throat> and sometimes it's zinc plating, which I think that's what those were. And I think that's what I was allergic to. Um, but I usually, most of the jewelry that I have for my other piercings is just stainless steel or titanium, like that kind of stuff, because it's what the thicker piercing stuff is usually sold in, is surgical steel or... Maybe it's tungsten. I don't remember. It starts with a T. Those are the other piercings. But yeah, no, allergic as hell to the earrings. So a lot of earrings, um, because it's so common, you can get hypoallergenic earrings, which instead of being plated in nickel, they're just made out of stainless steel. If you go to like a Walmart or a Claire's earrings say hypoallergenic, that's usually what it means. Sometimes they're st sterling silver plated instead of nickel. But, like, you're gonna pay a little bit more for it since it is silver. Oh, and Kyla, if you're listening, we accidentally caught the legendary today. Because <laughs> I went here to try and get some salmon, and we cast south and I ended up hooking into the legendary didn't even know that he was out there so if you need to catch him uh, he's down here hanging out I should maybe real quick switch to Golden Ridge I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna switch to Golden Ridge real quick Just to check, because I know that I have a thousand rep on this map. I just don't know a the current legendary. Find out easily. I could have it open. Resource. Oops! I fell through my boat. It's a trophy gallery. Uh, it is Sidewinder this week. And who has a picture of his location? You do! Aren't you a doll? Sidewinder is... Right out here. That label. Sidewinder. Alright. Let's try that, shall we? Oops. Because I know that I've caught him before, but the problem is actually going to be I don't have any of the gear to catch him with me. Because I'm going to need... Spoon... 
would do it. I would need a big spoon. We've got 46 gold, 2 diamond, 2 legendary tokens. I've caught more diamonds than that now, but the issue is I've bought things. Although personally, I'd recommend the bird to buy any one of our fantastic baits for a bargain price. Gain your poison. A twenty thousand dollar rod. I have all of these. Storage. This is a 38 pounds. This is a 5. 44. And I just have the 6 pounds. I think you're right. Because last time I caught him, I used one of these. Jesus, it's good. It scared me. Well, before we go, I'm going to stock up on Red Worm. Bottom fishing setup. Do what? Artificial or regular? I'm guessing regular. We're gonna be doing this at night. Oh, we're still running display capture, I just noticed. you guys back over. 
bottom fishing setup is in the first slot. Just flip cast it out there. That's not gonna work. We're gonna have to back that down. Yeah, let me just catch this guy on like a 44 pound setup with 100% drag. He's gonna snap this rod in two in like two seconds or less. Genius ideas. Genius ideas. Let's just hope he bites during the day. I don't sit here. But I'm glad that I've gotten Golden Ridge to the point where I've at least had a gold of each species. Suck. These guys also suck. I do not like going after them. Lake Trout's not too bad, but I still want to get a big one. Like, I still want to get a diamond of these. I'd like to get a diamond rainbow, too. I want- I can't believe I've gone this long and I don't have a diamond catfish yet, too. I think I've had a diamond catfish on the hook a couple of times. Specifically on this bridge, on the southern side, in this deeper spot. I've yet to actually land one. Setting. So that's that's a goal that I have. I want to get a diamond catfish soon. It's gonna be a nightmare to do it. I know it's gonna be possible. There's a lot of, lot of good diamond locations for Channel Cat. I'm even near one right now. But the other one is the south side of that bridge. They have 16, no, 17 different locations marked in the help sheet for diamond catfish. Somebody got a burbot. Somebody got a burbot nearby. Oh, he prefers the artificial corn to the other corn. Bail arm sit. Drift around. I can't believe we act. Now that I'm actively trying to get one, oh, we're just sitting here.
all the sun. Oh, it'll be pretty. Be upset. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Problem is, is, I don't have the time to just sit here and wait for him. Might have to. Yep. Like, if we hook into him, I'll hang out. We don't. That. Him. Herbit. Please on it. This one. Did it say that he was a daytime? Not really. Weird to break the sound barrier underwater. Big, all right. Hey, Larry's big. Old scenes, at least. Doable. Lower level people. I don't think it's gonna be in the cards for us today. Catch one on accident, can't get the one that I want. See you later on this week. Or next week. Whenever the stuff switches. Rest your day. Good rest your day. I'll see you. Bye.